Hello everyone, this is Rochelle and today I want to bring you my January, and, well December and January favorites, okay? I sorry, I sorry. I actually did my December favorites video, um, but uh, just I'm just going to redo it. Yeah, time got away from me. I couldn't post it, and blah, blah, blah. so I'm just gonna do it all over again, okay? Um, so January and December favorites. Did it again. December, January favorites. Let's just start off with some hair products that I have been loving. Remember, I was telling you guys that I had found a new product that defines your curls really, really, really well. Excuse me, just had some dip. It is Super Bowl day. Oh my gosh, good. Um, this is called Redken Bounce. No, Redken Curl Bounce Ringlet Zero Seven. Okay, um, this defines your curls really, really nicely. The only downfall that I'll say to this product, this is what I've been using all month, the last two months. This could be why my hair was dry, I don't know. Um, but I've been using it on my wash and goes. Um, you know, after you wash, condition your hair, whatever, you know, s you know, squirt some of this on and just rub it through your hair, do your little shake and go. And I'm telling you, your, your curls will come out looking really, really pretty. Um, not as defined as, let's say, like if you were to use the um, one of the gels, the um, olive oil gel, you know what I'm talking about, not like that, but it will define them really, really nicely. Um, what it does, it kind of curls, it'll give you, it'll give you kind of like straw curls. It'll kind of separate them a little, if that's making sense, but not too much to where it looks bushy, you know, and just um, frizzy, not like that. You will definitely see the curls and your curl pattern using this. At least I have. If you have the same texture hair that I have, then I would say this is a, this is a great product to use. Um, I mean, like I said, it, it can leave your hair a little bit dry. So, you know, I use my Carefree Curl to try to combat that or, you know, some kind of maybe that, um, what is it, glycerin and water mix. You know, give that a go. That'll help. Or your little oils. Whatever. Do what you do. Normally do in conjunction with this and see if you can balance it out. But I've been using it. I love it. It smells... It smells like it smells like uh, shampoo. It smells like shampoo. The smell can be a bit overpowering um, for me because um, I like more warm scents. It's just kind of high, you know. Doesn't make any sense. But anyway, but I like that product a lot. I suggest give it a go. This is a rave, you guys. This product I'm gonna talk to you about right now. This is you probably already know. This is called Vitamin E Oil from Mega Care. Okay, I don't I don't think it's all Vitamin E Oil in here. Let me say ingredients: sweet almond oil, okay, lemon oil, wheat germ oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, mm. taco ferro I don't know. Taco, no. Taco, vitamin E is what it says. Why? Why? Just say vitamin E. Vitamin E, rosemary extract, and fragrance. You guys, every morning, every morning, I get up. I gotta take my little twist, my little ponytail out. Ooh, I just put this on the ends of my hair. This smells so good. I'm sure it's doing something with my hair, but I don't care. I like the smell. This smells so fresh, and I just I just can't wait to put this on my hair in the morning. I love it. And then you know it's all goodness, good stuff for your hair. So I recommend this if you don't know about it. Got it for like two dollars at the beauty supply store. If I'm not mistaken, I got another one, grapeseed oil, and that one actually um, um, it smells good too. Um, but that one smells a lot better. So I suggest giving this one a go if you're interested. I could over take a whiff. See. Um, by the way, this one was $17. I got this at a, um, a beauty salon um, inside of JCPenney's. But they had some kind of deal where it was buy one, get one for a penny. So I got two for $17. So that's how it came off on this one. Okay. Next, let's stick with the hair products for now. This doesn't, I don't know what this does. I don't know what it does. I just know it makes my scalp tingle and it, it feels fresh and clean. And so that's why I've been using it. And this is called... Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. Okay, I got it from Trader Joe's. It says invigorate with peppermint, tea tree, and a eucalyptus, eucalyptus botanicals. Yeah, it's supposed to be all natural, all that, and you know, I don't know if all this is probably contributing to the dryness I have had. But yeah, this is what it is. I just love how it feels on my scalp. You know, I just I just love how it feels on my scalp. After I was washing my hair, I was conditioned with this and then going with the other conditioner. I just like the fact that it just tingled and it just felt like it was doing something to my scalp. So I've been using it all month and will continue to. Loves it. Okay, next, is that all for my hair products? I think it's all for the hair, you guys. I'm talking about this face, facial product that I've got. It was a free little sample I got from Sephora. I bought something. This is called Juice Beauty, the organic solution. Okay, um, this is what the packaging looks like there. This is bright and light and tight. It includes 
the green apple peel at full strength and the green apple antioxidant moisturizer um okay the peel y'all know those acidic peels and things that people put on their skin because you know reveal the new layer of skin or, you know newness get rid of all the old you know crumpled up skin that's on top well y'all know Ga gabrielle union in that commercial she had i don't know what it was for clean and clear and she was talking about how you feel like you got the film on your face and nothing's getting through little plastic that's how my face was feeling i couldn't get nothing in no matter what it just felt so dry and I was I was um, exfoliating. I was using my Clarisonic. I was doing. It just didn't feel like it was. It just felt like that layer. Exactly what she was saying. That layer. I guess I should have tried her product, but I didn't. I didn't because this was free. So as I was checking out on Sephora's website, um, I think they offered this. Yeah, I, some kind of way I saw this, and I was like, okay, I was interested in those acidic peels, but I was just scared because my skin is very sensitive. So I didn't know if it was going to, you know, it's going to be even worse breaking. Y'all see, I got the acne. I was going through that lately. It's doing better now. Um, but the point is, if I can get stop rambling, y'all, I love this. Well, I, I've been using it a couple times, and I can say that I did see a difference. This is called the green apple peel. Okay, what you're supposed to do? You wash your face, you put it on your face, rub it in liberally for about not liberally, but a liberal amount, rub it in your face um, and let it sit for about 15 minutes. It doesn't burn or anything, at least for me, and I have sensitive skin. It's supposed to be all organic, natural stuff. No parabens, no nothing. It says certified organic. It just itches a little bit, okay? And I guess it's just eating away at the skin. I don't know. Be careful with it around your eyes. Rinse it off, and then you follow up with the moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. Well, after I did it, I didn't see nothing. I was like, okay, next. The next day, I can see a clear difference in my skin. My skin, it just looked younger it looked not younger i'm not gonna say younger it just looked fresh um my pores seem to be reduced seem to be um i don't know but you're supposed to use this once a week follow up with the con the um not the conditioner the moisturizer um i i I've had a good uh, experience with this. I haven't had any issues with it yet. The moisturizer I absolutely adore. I've been using this every night. It's a nice um <laughs> moisturizer moisturizer it's a nice thick moisturizer good for nighttime I don't think I would wear this during the day I haven't um, but at night I, I, I put it on my face after I've washed and cleansed in the morning my skin just looks so fresh and I just love this stuff so these are samples I got them for free but um you know I, I'm considering buying it. it's kind of high y'all if I'm not mistaken these are $45 a piece or something like that um I use what I have it so I don't know we'll see we'll see how that goes um let's see face 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 okay this is a new foundation you guys that i've been wearing this is called i found this at cvs for about three dollars okay if you can see it this is called sally hanson natural beauty and this is called it says make up your skin i don't know and it's, it's inspired by carmony i think it's a lady from what not to wear the makeup artist um but this is a nice creamy uh foundation this was three dollars here it is here and again this is um this is in mahogany akajou akajou i don't know the number is 1000-55 if that helps you um it was on sale on clearance and this is really nice foundation it is so creamy especially for these dry winter months and you look up at just something moist it's like a thick lotion um I really like this. It's supposed to be all natural again. Y'all know if I can get something all natural, I'm all about it. Um, it's a nice dewy finish. Um, but I've been wearing it. You know, you have to set it. But it lasts pretty good. I don't have any issues with it. And look, here it is. Here's one hand so you can see the difference. You know, you don't see my little veins and everything. Here it is with the foundation on. Really nice foundation. I enjoyed it. Got for three bucks. So I've been using it, rotating it with the rest of my foundation that I love. So I love that. Excuse me, I have phone, y'all. Hold on. Nobody, I know. Okay, next. Um, I didn't bring a towel or anything. Shoot. Not good. Okay, next what I want to talk to you about is a, a brush that I've been loving. I got this brush a month or so ago. This is the MAC 129 Short Handle Brush. It's a nice little uh, blush brush. You guys, I'm loving this. I got this off eBay. Mm -hmm. Got it off eBay. I think it was like $20 including shipping, and it's real. You know I know. Came with a little pack, the little zipper packaging. It's like a travel brush, I believe, or I don't know. But um, I've been wanting to try it, give it a go. It's not the softest thing in the world, but it picks up color really, really nice and applies it uh, beautifully, beautifully. So I enjoy using this. I look forward to putting my blush on with this brush too. So this is another one to add to the collection I recommend. Um, I don't know if the long handle is any better. I guess the same thing, I suppose. 
here's something else that I've been loving. Um, this is this is from my NARS palette. This is from the NARS 9952 palette. I think you can get this by itself, this color. I don't think you have to buy the palette. But it's called, it's right here. It's called Unconditional Love. It's like a cream. There it is right there. It's a cream eyeshadow, okay? It's just a cream eyeshadow. Um, and I've just been neglecting it because I didn't get it. All I do is put on Urban Decay on, you need a primer. Put your Urban Decay on, I just put this across your lid. It is so pretty, so natural, nice, everyday look. There it is right there. You can't see it. I don't know if you can really see what it's doing. It, it's a beautiful sheen. Beautiful sparkle. It kind of, you know that little wet look to the eyes? You know, the kind of shiny wet. It's kind of like that, but more subtle. Um, It's perfect. I love this. I'm the one why it's on my lips. I like this a lot. I've been using this a lot during the day. Just, you know, nice and quick. This, some mascara, line and brows, and lip gloss, and go. So I have been loving that. been wearing that a lot throughout the month.